to my channel how are you doing guys if you are new here you are welcome if you are old welcome back so just as the title says i will be trying pemrod today so i have used pemrod before but i didn't really like the results that i had and i am not a pro at it so today i decided to do it on camera to show y'all let me say my first time of doing pemrod okay so i'm starting on stretched hair i actually did this afro puff style if you haven't seen the video go watch it when i did it it was actually cute and i think i've had it in for like three days or so yeah so i'm just gonna take out the pins and then start off with this video all right guys so the products i'm going to be using are just water and um this is a styling mousse from nova gold yeah so um my hair is not really dry dry it has products in it the leave-in conditioner that i use to style my hair for this my hair doesn't really feel that dry also this styling mousse is very thick it's not runny like the other styling mousse it's really thick so um like i'll see that it's really thick yeah and it's very moisturizing i've actually used it before so i know how it works okay and then i'll be detangling my hair with the shampoo brush also i want to try adding this um temporary hair color on the ends of my hair to just give it some boost okay y'all so i'm just gonna switch to voiceover and start this for you okay guys so my back hurts like it's been hurting for some time now anyways so you can actually do this on soaking wet hair or damp hair or dry hair however states that your hair is in just make sure that it is um clean or not having lots of products in it already before you start this because you need your hair to be light so that it can be um set by the perm rod so i'm starting off with this section and i'm gonna mist my hair a little to get it quite damp and then i will make sure i detangle it guys you should detangle your hair i know i'm not a pro at these pamor sets but from the little that i have done i have just come to know that if you detangle it really well it makes your separation part really really easy and the smaller the rods the more definition you get the bigger the rods the more fluffy and less definition you get so i just go in with this mousse this mousse is i don't know a little goes a long way okay y'all so i just apply it to my hair and make sure that i work it in really really well and then i make sure like i detangle like the whole time to make sure that my hair is smooth because you need your hair to be smooth on the road okay so one thing i do is i twist the roots i learned this technique from nay janae um she's on youtube i don't know if you watch it she's really good at pemro set so i twist my roots and that's it and then i apply the color that i was talking about on it so i make sure that i put the end on the rod first make sure it is smooth roll it over it a few times and then i roll it onto the other side of the rod and then I, I I close it and I try that I, I try to close it on top of the hair, not behind it, because if you do it on top, that is what actually secures the hair. Okay guys, so that's exactly what I'll be doing on my whole head. So y'all I'll just let you watch this and then I'm I'm with you. Okay, y'all. So when it gets to the end, we all see the results. Shots have scored. No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin. When we fight, when we fall, then we ride through it all till we find what we want. Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you. Time we 
this is how the back section looks like as you can see i divided my hair into four so this is how one fourth of my hair looks like and then i did it for my whole head so this is like the almost the last sections of my hair okay guys so whilst you're watching this don't forget to click on the subscribe button like this video and comment guys let's rock really hard to get to 1k okay guys let's do really well to get to 1k okay y'all so i do this on my whole head and the more you do it the more like it becomes like really cool okay one thing is that the way that it is on the rod that is exactly how it will come out so make sure that the hair is smooth detangle it use smaller sections so that you get it to look really really good okay guys so i am done with my hair and this is how it is looking it was actually a struggle i'm not gonna lie okay guys so i'm gonna sit under the dryer for like an hour 15 minutes or however time it will take for my hair to dry and i'll come and show you all the results okay hey guys so it is the next day and this is how i want my hair to sleep i just put the satin scarf on my head and then i went to sleep so, I believe that it is all dry. So, I'll be using the um, Kinky Crown Naturals Hair Serum with black seed oil. I love this oil, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put some on my hands and then take these out. I just hope they are dry. I have some frizz here. I believe I will get better at this if I do it more often. I don't know if you can see the blue other tips. Whoa. Okay. So it's fully dried. Put some more oil in my hands. And then start with the separation. So I'll start off by separating the twist. When it comes to the separation, you try to separate it where it naturally separates. Okay, so after I separated everything, I didn't really like how small or how shrunken my hair was. You all know, like I don't have high density hair. So this is how my hair was looking after I separated it. And I wasn't really happy with it. I had lots of definition. So the inner me just decided to mess this up so i actually took my blow dryer and then i stretched it okay so this is how it was looking after i stretched it as you can see i blew out the roots a lot and i had just a little definition at the ends but i really learned a lot from this particular pamela set and i have decided to do better in my next and the next and the next <laughs> okay so i think i'll be doing more pamela sets because like I love how fluffy and big my hair can get with it and yeah so this is how my hair was looking in the end and I would say it's cool and then the color give it some really nice thing at the end so no okay guys so if you actually enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe so I kept on fluffing and fluffing and fluffing and fluffing yeah guys okay so this is the end of the video i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so this is me feeling myself with all these snapchat filters okay y'all guys so i'll see you in my next video i love you and i appreciate you